There's an old military saying that the flak only gets heavy when you're over the target. This is attributed to a anonymous World War II American bomber pilot. By the way, it's not like you run into that flak. You do the best thing you can to avoid the flak while achieving your mission of delivering your bombs and destroying your target. In general, this phrase has kind of translated into politics that um, when the other side is attacking, slandering, and trying to stop you, most likely you are an effective target. Um, I've understood for a while now that Google and other progressive technology aristocracies, these coastal elite companies, uh, have been uh, demonetizing, devaluing, and preventing even my content from getting out. I've had one video uh, uh, that has been, most of my videos have been de. None of my videos have been monetized, even though I meet the criterion on YouTube. All of my videos are kind of de-pushed. I try to get the truth out about several different things, and Google doesn't like that. One of my videos was removed, even though it didn't say anything erroneous, to the best of my knowledge. It said simply that the Notre Dame church had burned down, and there were Muslims online who were celebrating. Both of these are facts that are true. These progressive global coastal Tech, uh, people I call the technocracy. They're waging a disinformation campaign on conservatives, Christians, Republicans, red state guys, patriots, the liberty, blogosphere. And influential people on the right have ignored this threat to America for far, far too long. Well, I've taken arrows in protecting people like the John Birch Society, various Idaho conservatives, uh, the three percenters, um, all kind of other organizations I've, I've simply protected because I don't believe that it's right to attempt to destroy and annihilate these people. I've seen very little of that from many uh, uh, sites. I, my brother over there, John Jacob Schmidt at American Readout, and, and of course, uh, James Rawls, um, a big blog, uh, is survivalblog.com, are some of the places that are actually reach out and make sure that we don't hang along, alone. But a lot of the right, the conservatives, the Republican Party are silent while these very powerful, very wealthy firms attempt to mislead the American people. They are acting as publishers and a gatekeeper between uh, the people searching for information and what information they believe is fair to show. Thankfully, small things like the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell who I like to call, uh, he was called uh, Turtle Boy because he has a kind of a crazy neck, but I call him Mutant Ninja Turtle Mitch because he's actually really badass on, uh, uh, on, um, on appointing conservative justices, which might give us a little bit more breathing room. Anyway, he got his Twitter account locked out because he went outside, got on his phone, and sat there and recorded extremely aggressive and threatening protesters that showed up at his house screaming at his wife and children. He just showed what was happening. And Twitter didn't want the left to be seen in a negative light. Just like YouTube doesn't want Muslims to be seen in a negative light. And then they locked his account. So Mitch is like, well, but I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you did, Mitch. You showed progressivism in a negative way. It is my opinion that too many of the, our elected leaders, even here in Idaho, have done too little uh, to, to try to limit the damage of these progressive firms. I truly believe that. And I truly believe that we should do more. We should do more to, to prevent this. Anyway, now we have some more proof that not only is the technocracy attack on the right in general, and the, it, but is also attacking the American readout political migration movement in particular. Recently, a Google whistleblower named Zachary Verharis, a computer scientist who worked in Google, was so upset by the one-sided election meddling in favor of progressives and Democrats by Google uh, since almost, he says, almost exclusively started after 2016 surprise election by uh, President Trump, he gave a computer, a laptop full of documents to the Department of Justice uh, under President Trump and then their antitrust area. He believes that these documents will help the DOJ investigate the incredibly unfair political practices of Google and Twitter and Facebook and other giant companies. 
But he was smart and he didn't want the deep state to try to bury this information. So he also gave it those same documents to Project Veritas. Project Veritas has published those documents. The documents can be found in a zip file that I'll try to get back up on the site, but you can also find it at Project, Project Veritas's main site. I sometimes try to mirror important documents to make sure that they don't disappear from the internet. Uh, in these documents, under a grouping called Fake News, there's a file called News Blacklist Site for Google Now. This is just one of the many Google blacklists that Google maintains. These blacklists are what Google's lawyers and Google executives have sworn under oath to the American people's representatives, i.e. Congress, do not exist. Now we have clean evidence that they do exist. Google describes the file that I'm referencing as the manual list of sites excluded from appearing as Google Now Stories to read results. I believe that Google Now Stories are the stories when you search for things on your Android phone, which I've strongly recommended people not use. Uh, these are the stories that come up. In other words, no matter what you search for on your Android phone using Google, these mo primarily conservative sites will not show up on your search results. This is a list of political content that Google is manually censoring by suppressing, sometimes called deboosting or deranking. They say, oh yeah, we show it, but we show it on page 453 of the search results, which they know nearly no one goes that deep. Uh, and keeping these conser primarily conservative sites from being found when people search for news. At the, site, at the same time, more liberal and progressive sites are being boosted by Google and rank higher than they wouldn't be natively. So when you see ABC, CBS, NBC, the Young Turks, all these sites realize that Google is artificially changing the search results to favor progressive sites. This is something that I have always suspected, but now I have a, even more proof that it's happening. In this list, which I spent the weekend reviewing, um, this, these are internal documents from Google that were leaked. Uh, the, these, um, the, basically, Google is listing the conservative sites they see as most effective at sharing information. For example, one of the sites that they literally blacklist is Rush Limbaugh. I mean, the legendary Rush Limbaugh. They blacklist his blog. I mean, the guy's on a billion radio shows and syndicated all over the U.S. and I assume the world. Yet Google has blacklisted his blog from showing up in search results. I think Governor Palin is somehow related to chicks on the right because she often reposts their content. They've blocked that. Republican women, chicks on the right, no can do. Simple paleoconservative or just generally conservative blogs like American Thinker, blacklisted by Google. SHTFplan.com, which is a prepper website that I used to follow all the time. It was uh, survivalblog.com, James Rawls, and SHTF Plan was like the number one and two prepper sites for many years, blacklisted by Google. And pro-life sites like lifesite.com, all blocked or suppressed by Alphabet Inc., i.e. Google. In addition to the thousands of primarily conservative-leaning sites being actively and manually blocked or suppressed are our friends over at Idaho-based Readout News. If the world was ethical and journalism was fair, which we all know it is not, Readout News would have received multiple journalist awards. They publish extraordinarily long-form investigative report and reporting that the legacy lying liberal media cannot even share because so many people on the right, wisely, will not talk to a bunch of leftist media types. Readout News publishes mostly long-form, incredibly detailed, well-researched content. I have never even seen them come close to any American legally restricted type of speech. Heck, I've never even see, heard them use a foul word in my life in print or in speech. They're very just two, a, a married couple who both have other jobs trying to scrape by and they publish uh, news and articles out there trying to get a more conservative view spread. By the way, no liberal, I could not find, and you can search, I've posted the link on my main site, 
Charles Carroll Society, I could not find any liberal or progressive blog in Idaho that is being actively blacklisted by Google, i.e. Alphabet Inc. Only the more conservative blogs and websites in Idaho or Idaho related were being blacklisted. This is a, a, an evidence of Idaho state level election meddling by a monopolistic global list giant corporation. Yet Google, which is actually owned by Alphabet Inc., the most valuable public traded technology firm in the world with over 98,000 employees with over 30 billion in net income, has decided that Readout News, a small Idaho-based blog published by an older husband and wife team who both have other jobs to scrape by, located in Governor L Brad Little, Congre Congressman Russ Fulcher, Senator Mike Crapo, and Senator James Reach State, is such a threat, threat that they have used their monopolistic search and ad power to put this tiny Idaho conservative-leaning blog in business out of business by suppressing their position in search and censoring their content. I find it pretty interesting that not, you know, major sites that I believe are much more influential like Idaho Freedom Foundation, Idaho Republican Party, none of those are on Google's blacklist. Only a tiny site named Readout News apparently is the most effective promoter of conservatism in Idaho. When you're over, you're catching flack when you're over the target. And I find it unfortunate that neither the Republican Party nor our elected federal Republican representatives do a damn thing while this globalist progressive monopoly is immorally destroying Idaho businesses. I could care less about these absolute free markers who free marketeers who simply want to pied piper red state America and Christians in general into oblivion. Their opinion about how the economy should run is not a suicide pact for the rest of us. Google's current policy of suppressing, suppressing conservative speech while boosting progressive speech should be stopped now, before the 2020 election cycle, which it may be then too late because they will get people who agree with them elected. Google is not a neutral platform. It is a publisher. A neutral platform is like the phone company. The phone company does not stop you from speaking any words. They provide a platform. Google decides what content is fit to be seen by Americans in general and Idahoans in particular. They stand between the information and you and manipulate what you see for the purpose of manipulating your worldview. This means that Republicans in Congress should stop protecting Google from legal suit by revoking their special status, which says that they are a platform. We clearly understand they are not. In addition, in my opinion, Google must be broken up. The power of Google comes from its monopoly on search and online revenue. Other search engines should somehow be promoted until there is not a single on-ramp on the internet. Google's online ever Ad revenue should be also broken up, kind of like the baby bells, where there are several different ad online avenue pro, uh, uh, groups and organizations and businesses. Right now, and Republicans don't understand this, right now Google and Facebook by themselves it says that you cannot advertise for firearms in the United States. Well, firearms are legal in the United States. They are manipulating an entire generations of Americans and not seeing positive views of firearms and guns and hunting and all that jazz because Google by themselves had decided that this legally protected activity they don't like. If the federal Republicans we have elected will not protect the constitutional rights of Americans and red state America in particular, it falls to the states as normal to take action. Since Google's election meddling is happening at a state level, I believe our local elected Republicans should take a look at what can be done at the local level to protect Idahoans from this immoral monopoly. Viva Crystal Ray, Viva Crystal Ray, Viva Crystal Ray, either Virgin of Guadalupe.